In this video, Jordan Peterson explains how to not become bitter and resentful in life. What do you think drives people to extreme forms of pathology? Now, that might be your pathology, your misery, your suffering and all that. Or it might be your social psychopathology, which is your murderous desire to exterminate. Okay, well, here's a phenomenological theory. The terror management theory is that you've got to build these structures in your head to get yourself away from death anxiety, right? And so really what the terror management people are saying is, the blinder you are, the better. And that's what the positive illusion people think too. Now the phenomenologists, they were going at this from another direction. They were saying, the meaning that constantly reveals itself is nourishing and revitalizing, although it's so powerful it can just blow you apart. So it's a dangerous thing to be messing with. It's like the burning bush. And you, you have to build a structure in order to be able to cope with that because you have to minimize it to what you can handle. But you need to build the structure properly, properly and carefully, so that the meaning that reveals itself can be shaped by you into a world, conceptual and practical, that allows the remaining meaning to shine through in a way that you find sufficiently revitalizing so that you don't become corrupt enough to become genocidal. Now, that's a good theory. And that's what the phenomenologists were on about. And that's part of the reason why the existentialists and the phenomenologists say, don't deceive yourself about what manifests itself to you. Don't use language instrumentally. Why? Because if you do that and twist up the structures that you're using to interpret the world through, the world will twist up on you. And all that will be revealed is its horror. And if horror is all that's always being revealed to you, you will not stay good. Because you can't, under that sort of pressure. You'll get bitter and resentful. And everything will fall apart around you because you're not actually modeling the reality in a way that the positive meaning can shine through. So you'll fail, and you'll become resentful, and you'll become bitter, and then you'll be looking for someone to hurt. And you'll have plenty of justification for it. So, and worse, and this is Jungian contribution to this whole idea, this won't happen all at once. It'll happen as a consequence of a hundred thousand micro decisions that you hardly even notice, where you can be truthful about something or not, in this tiny way that hardly even seems to matter. But that the consequence of iterating that across time, say 300,000 decisions, is that you can build yourself into the sort of monster that you would never want to see in the mirror. And one of the things the phenomenologists would also tell you, and this is something Jung said as well, is that is the sort of monster that you probably are. And so if you want to deal with that, you have to start taking things seriously. And one of the things there's two things you have to take seriously. And one is the meaning that reveals itself to you. And the other is the stance of truth towards which you approach. The stance of truth that you adopt while you're interacting with that meaning. And the final consequence of that would be your health, the health of your family and your society, and the health of the entire society at large, pivots on that. It pivots on that. And that the way the world moves is a sum total of all the decisions that all of us are making, all those little micro decisions. And those bloody things echo like ripples in a pond. And so when you do some little crooked thing that you know you shouldn't be doing, you're actually warping the entire structure of reality. And what's really interesting about that is, now we know what happens when you do that. What happens is that we end up with the Nazis and the communists and the hydrogen bombs. And we haven't escaped from that yet. And hopefully we will, but we won't if people don't learn what the 20th century had to teach them. That's that.